Henry Ford Hospital physician Dr. Scott Katz took care of some of the first COVID-19 patients admitted to the hospital. Unfortunately, he also became an early victim himself of COVID-19, ending up in the ICU on a ventilator. He was enrolled in the convalescent plasma study while he was being treated at Henry Ford Hospital and was the first to receive it on April 17th. The uh, scariest part of uh, this was certainly for my uh, family. Um, what I'm learning, I was unconscious and paralyzed and on a ventilator. And with this disease, not being able to be with your loved one, um, and then they're so terribly ill, it, it is, seems very strange and not right. Before he went on the ventilator, Dr. Katz was able to Skype with his family. But we really had a potential goodbye uh, uh, call is what we were doing. So far, 14 COVID-19 patients have undergone transfusions of convalescent plasma at Henry Ford Hospital. The plasma donated by healthcare workers who have recovered. The patients were all very sick, requiring oxygen or a ventilator. And now... All of them have had no complications and all of them are actually doing well. And while we uh, can't yet say that this convalescent plasma is a cure, uh, we know that it certainly is not hurting anyone, and in fact, there's lots of evidence to suggest that we may be moving in the right direction. And he is the champion of Corona. And Dr. Katz shared he now has another reason to celebrate. My father uh, has been on and off of the ventilator at Henry Ford for the last month, actually, and he just came off about 15 minutes ago. So. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And that was some excellent news to start the interview. Now, it's important to note patients in the study, including Dr. Katz in particular, also received other treatments, including remdesivir and hydroxychloroquine. So it's not possible yet to determine which drug regimen or treatment may have been the most effective. But Henry Ford is very excited about the results, including the good outcome with one of our own.